What's up everybody, how you guys doing? Cluxio back again and today we're playing free for all on freight and I'm using the AK-12 with the silencer. Uh, I'm not using any class given by you guys but in a future video I will be actually selecting a random comment from one of the previous videos and use a class that you guys set up for me. So today I'm not using a class set up by you guys but just the normal AK-12 with the silencer and I believe I have the grip or long barrel. I forget which one I had on it. So this is a free for all gameplay where I get a KEM strike for you guys. So this is the second KEM strike going up on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know these videos can be kind of campy and uh, a bit slow at some times but uh, I get pretty pretty scared you know when I'm getting close to the KEM strike it, it gets pretty intense and towards like the end of the video uh, these people started to come up at me really bad they, they found out you know I kept killing them from this kind of location I kept going back and forth so they kind of figured out I was camping over here so they all started to pour in and I almost died at one point but uh, I actually managed to get a KEM strike so I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about a, a little bit of, you know, you could call it a conspiracy theory, but uh, I think it's pretty legit, you know, but it, it is a conspiracy theory. So uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was HARP, H-A-A-R-P. Uh, probably some of you guys probably heard about it before if not stay tuned uh, this is some pretty interesting interesting topic for you guys now if you guys have been uh, you know stay uh, if you guys have been catched up with all the news and stuff recently uh, you might have heard it has been snowing and it snowed in the past week in the Middle East now it's been crazy not just a little bit of snowstorm but it was a really really heavy snowstorm in the Middle East especially in Egypt you know everything was covered with snow like the pyramids fully covered so many people were not prepared for this and uh, thousands and thousands of people people were you know without home without shelter without food and uh, they had to send in the army for many places uh, many different countries in the Middle East to you know take care of these people and uh, give them food give them shelter and all this stuff so a lot of people were you know they weren't simply ready for this it's been over a hundred years more than a century that uh, they seen snow in Egypt and especially in Middle East you know so it, it's not a huge it's not the norm that it snows in the Middle East. Now, what I wanted to tell you guys about is H A A R P, which is HARP. You know, what this stands for is High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. It's a thirty million dollar project, and uh, they brought it. They started doing this in about 1993, and uh, you know, once they actually started, the scientists started to do this. The U S. actually figured out, you know, we could actually take this and use it for something else which is clearly not been using for in the first place what they were planned to do so the idea behind weather control is simple when you see and experience a thunderstorm you know with a lot of lightning and thunder you know what fact about this storm strikes you the most aren't you impressed by the powerful display of energy that you witness you know energy is the primary ingredient behind nature's storm that's why you must believe that you know just perhaps if energy is the most dominant factor in all kinds of storms then energy might be the key factor in creating such storms in the first place so energy 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 you know so you ask how much energy is required to create and direct storms uh, so the answer to that question depends upon many factors but let me tell you how much capability has been built into the newly created power transmission station in remote Alaska now they've been building this for a long time now it's been going down and these power transmission towers are not your typical towers as they are designed they're like they're designed to generate power in such a way that is beamed up into the ionosphere in crazy 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 power right. so this is not a joke guys this is made to beam up more than 1.7 gigawatts billions of watts of radiated power into the ionosphere so basically simply put uh, it boils up the atmosphere after heating it and it disturbs the ionosphere you know so the rad radiations will bounce back into the earth and for and form of long waves which you know penetrate our bodies the ground and the oceans so this thing is crazy it can actually this 
big big freaking plant at Alaska actually can control weather guys what is I just described you what it really does so it could actually create and change weather with all this crazy energy at the base they actually created uh, they can create earthquakes storms hurricanes everything with this so now that's what I was thinking you know it's freaking crazy how after a hundred years randomly some snowstorm started to decide to end up in the Middle East and left thousands and thousands of people homeless and people you know struggling to find food and survive and I think a lot of people actually did die from the storm uh, so I think harp might be you know the result of this because it's pretty crazy to think about how it just randomly started snowing in the Middle East you know after a hundred years more than a hundred years now I know it might sound you know a little weird and taking all this in but it is a conspiracy theory so don't get me wrong I don't want you guys to just take this on and believe it but do your research you know I just wanted to tell you guys about this thing that actually exists in Alaska this whole plan called harp and it's an actual thing so just wanted to inform you guys about this and I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, you know it's not it's probably not harp or whatever it is whatever it is you believe it's all up to you global warming or whatever you want it to believe cause these snow let me know what you guys think about this conspiracy theory topic uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and right here the game is about to come to an end. I'm 26 and 2, a little bit campy here, and I'm so close to getting the KEM strike, so that's why I was, you know, a little bit scared. But right here, I get the final kill and pick up my 25 point streak and uh, get the KEM strike, and I call it in. And this is the second KM strike going up on the channel once again. I thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me. It's been a blast, guys. We're coming to a one month almost in two days, three days, I think, uh, whenever from I upload this video. Uh, December 18th, I, I believe. It's going to be one whole month on this channel. And we're 2.1K subscribers strong. I love you guys so much. Once again, drop a like if you guys enjoy the video. And I see you guys next time, guys. Peace.